Ever wondered how to objectively review a movie? Well, it's not as daunting as it might sound. Objective analysis is all about stepping away from personal biases or preferences. Instead, it focuses on the fundamental elements that make a movie what it is. Think of it as dissecting a film into its core components. These include the plot, characters, cinematography, and even the sound design. It's about understanding the intentions behind every scene, every shot, and every line of dialogue. It's about appreciating the art of filmmaking in its entirety. This approach encourages you to think critically, to question, and to form independent opinions. Remember, in the realm of objective analysis, every movie is a new adventure waiting to be explored. So, are you ready to take a deep dive into the world of objective movie reviews? Buckle up! So, where does one start with objective movie analysis? Well, it all begins with understanding the fundamental elements of a movie review. Let's delve into these components. Firstly, we have the plot, the backbone of any film. It's the storyline, the sequence of events, and the conflicts that drive the narrative forward. A strong plot keeps the audience engaged, and it's essential to consider in your review. Next up we have the characters. Are they well-developed and believable? How do they contribute to the overall narrative? These questions can help guide your analysis. Then there's the director's vision. How effectively was it translated onto the screen? This involves evaluating the director's style and the choices made during the film's production. Cinematography and sound are also crucial. How the movie is shot and how sound is used can greatly enhance or detract from the storytelling. With these basics in mind, you're ready to start analyzing. The plot is the backbone of any movie, but how can we analyze it? Here's how. We start with the pacing. You know, just like a heart has a rhythm, so does a movie. A well-paced plot keeps you engaged, never allowing your attention to waver. It's like a roller coaster ride where the ascents and descents are timed just right. Imagine a movie where the hero is battling the villain but the fight scene drags on for too long. It would lose its excitement, wouldn't it? Next, we look at the plot structure, the framework that holds the story together. This includes the introduction, the buildup of conflict, the climax, and the resolution. Let's consider a hypothetical film where the climax occurs too early leaving the rest of the movie flat and uninteresting. That's a structural flaw, plain and simple. Then comes originality. It's the spice that adds flavor to a movie. An original plot keeps you guessing, keeps you on your toes. It's like when you're reading a book and you can't wait to turn the page to find out what happens next. Picture a film where you could predict the entire story in the first 10 minutes. Not very engaging, is it? Lastly, we have coherence. A coherent plot is clear and logical. It's like a puzzle where all the pieces fit together perfectly. Imagine a movie where a character suddenly gains a superpower without any explanation. That's an incoherent plot, and it can leave you feeling confused and unsatisfied. So in summary, when analyzing a plot, look at the pacing, structure, originality, and coherence. And remember, a good plot should be like a well-cooked meal. It should have the right balance of ingredients, it should be served at the right temperature, and it should leave you feeling satisfied. Remember, a good plot should be engaging, original, and coherent. Characters breathe life into the plot, but what makes a character well-written? A well-written character, much like a real person, possesses depth, development, consistency, and relatability. Let's dissect these elements one by one. Firstly, depth. A character with depth is one that is multi-dimensional. They aren't just good or bad, happy or sad. They have layers, complexities, and inner conflicts, just like you and me. They have a past, a present, and a future. They have motivations, fears, desires, and flaws. When you're watching a movie, look for these aspects. Are the characters more than just cardboard cutouts? If they are, you've found depth. Secondly, development. Characters should evolve throughout the story. They should learn, grow, change, or even regress. They should not be the same person at the end of the movie as they were at the beginning. This evolution or transformation is an indication of a well-written character. It's a journey, and as an audience we are invited to embark on this journey with them. Next, consistency. While characters should develop, they should also stay true to their core. They should react to situations in ways that align with their established personalities. A sudden shift in behavior without any reason can feel jarring and inauthentic. So, watch for consistency in a character's actions and reactions. Lastly, relatability. The best characters are those we can see ourselves in, or at least understand. They don't necessarily have to be likable, but they should evoke some form of emotional response from us. We should care about what happens to them, whether we're rooting for them or against them. 
In conclusion, well-written characters are not just pawns in the plot, they are individuals with their own narratives. They possess depth, undergo development, maintain consistency, and offer relatability. They evoke emotions, provoke thoughts, and ultimately, breathe life into the story. So, as you watch your next movie, pay close attention to the characters. Well-written characters are consistent, relatable, and undergo development throughout the movie. Scene Script Direction cinematography and sound play key roles in a movie, but how can we analyze them? Let's begin with direction. The director is the visionary behind the film, the captain steering the ship if you will. They are responsible for bringing the script to life, shaping the performances, and making crucial decisions that affect the overall feel of the movie. To analyze direction, consider the director's vision and its execution. Does the film have a clear, consistent tone? Are the performances well-crafted and believable? Are there any unique stylistic choices that stand out? These are the questions that can help you understand the director's role and influence on the film. Next up, cinematography. This is the art of visual storytelling. It's what gives a film its distinct look and feel. To evaluate cinematography, pay attention to the visuals and aesthetics. How are the shots composed? What's the color palette like? Does the lighting contribute to the mood? For instance, in a hypothetical suspense thriller, the use of shadows and low-key lighting can intensify the sense of danger and mystery, while a romantic drama might employ soft, warm lighting to evoke feelings of intimacy and passion. Lastly, let's dive into sound. This encompasses the score, sound effects, and all the oral elements that contribute to the film's atmosphere. A well-composed score can underscore the emotions in a scene, while effective sound design can make the fictional world feel tangible and immersive. To analyze sound, listen to how it complements or contrasts with the visuals. For example, in a hypothetical action sequence, the sound of roaring engines, screeching tires, and booming explosions can heighten the excitement and tension. Remember, good direction, cinematography, and sound aren't just about looking or sounding good. They're tools that filmmakers use to enhance the storytelling and create an immersive experience. So the next time you watch a movie, take a moment to appreciate these aspects you might just find a deeper appreciation for the art of filmmaking. Good direction, cinematography, and sound enhance the storytelling and create an immersive experience. Now that we've analyzed all the elements, how do we put it together? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's dive right in and find out. Think of your analysis as a puzzle. Each element you've dissected, the plot, the characters, the direction, cinematography, and sound is a piece of that puzzle. To form an overall opinion, you need to see how these pieces fit together. Let's begin with the plot and characters. They are the backbone of any movie. How did they interact? Did the plot provide a suitable platform for the characters to grow and evolve? Then consider the direction. Did it guide the plot and characters smoothly or were there rough edges? Next, think about the cinematography. Did it enhance the story or did it distract from it? Was it consistent with the mood and tone of the plot and characters? Similarly, consider the sound. Did it complement the scenes or did it feel out of place? Now comes a crucial part, balancing these elements. A movie isn't just about a single aspect, it's about how these aspects come together to form a cohesive whole. So, how do you balance them? This is where your personal judgment comes in. Think of it as a scale. If the plot and characters were compelling but the cinematography was poor, does the strong story outweigh the weak visuals? Or perhaps the direction was fantastic but the plot was uninspired. Does the director's vision compensate for the lackluster story? There's no right or wrong answer here. It's about what resonates with you. Remember, an objective review seeks to appreciate the artistry and craftsmanship of a movie, but it also acknowledges its flaws. It's about finding that delicate balance between praise and critique, between what worked and what didn't. With these steps, you're now equipped to objectively review a movie. Happy analyzing!